Hi, this is Brian Woodhouse with the Center for Entrepreneurship here at Madison College. We're committed to providing resources, ideas, and inspiration for you to grow or launch your small business. And this is this week's two-minute TREP tip. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Shana LaFour, business owner and entrepreneur in residence at Madison College. Today's two-minute TREP tip answers the question, who can help me start my business? Starting a business can be a little overwhelming. We start curious and excited, chatting the ear off anyone who will listen. And while that enthusiasm is fantastic to get you motivated to kickstart your business, it can fade fast if you're not getting the right support. Well-meaning friends and family will likely give you their two cents. The tricky part is figuring out who has the best advice for you and your business. So today I have three resources that can give you the professional and often totally free advice you need to start your business. Number one, small business training programs. Traditional four credit business programs can be found at most major colleges or universities and often take anywhere from two to four years to complete either as a full-time or part-time student. More condensed non-credit entrepreneurship or business planning courses are also available and can take anywhere from a few hours to several months. Here at Madison College we have both for credit and non-credit business programs, as well as mini courses, seminars, workshops, some of which are absolutely free of charge. Number two, mentorship organizations. A mentor is a trusted advisor who offers you guidance based on their own business experience. Almost like a big brother or big sister for business owners. You can meet a mentor annually, monthly, or even weekly. And to find a mentor, you can check out organizations like SCORE, which pairs you with a retired business professional in your field at no cost to you or the Wisconsin Technology Center's Entrepreneurship Toolkit, which has an extensive list of local organizations such as WIBIC, various chambers of commerce, and many more. Or you could stop into the Entrepreneurship Center right here on campus. You could visit with me or one of the other entrepreneurs in residence. Number three, business support communities. Being part of a supportive community of like-minded individuals is key to keeping you on track and growth-oriented in your business. It really helps to have a few strong business relationships with people who understand the ups and downs of owning a business. They can offer you support, ideas, or be a sounding board when you need it. And there are several local networking and referral groups right here in Madison. So many, in fact, that it would take ages to visit each one only once. My advice, make a list of the select groups you're interested in, try out each one over a few months, and pick two or three. Go on a regular basis, really get to know the members, and that will help you establish a deeper networking relationship. And it'd be a better use of your time than network hopping. It's not about the number of people you know, but the quality of the relationship that matters. So there you have it. Three types of resources to help you in launching and growing your small business. Small business training organizations, mentorship organizations, and business support communities. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time on the 2-Minute Trap Tip.